maturity onset diabetes of the young we also call it modi this basically comes under the monogenic form of diabetes mellitus what do i mean by that if you read the classification of diabetes mellitus diabetes can be classified in many ways many subtypes actually type 1 diabetes mellitus type 2 diabetes mellitus drug induced diabetes mellitus endocrine origin diabetes mellitus pancreatogenic diabetes mellitus all this gestational diabetes mellitus this one is basically a unique subtype of diabetes mellitus which is called monogenic diabetes mellitus monogenic means that usual diabetes mellitus the common forms which we see type 2 or type 1 there are multiple genes involved in the pathogenesis of the diabetes mellitus they are polygenic multiple genes are involved and not only genes there are a role of environmental factors also there is a role of obesity diet uh, there is a role of uh, autoimmunity for the type 1 diabetes mellitus so their development the type 2 and type 1 the most common forms actually their development is quite complex of diabetes mellitus but this particular group monogenic diabetes mellitus is quite straightforward because this is occurring due to mutation of one single gene mono means single and gene so this occurs due to mutation of a single gene of the beta cell of the which impacts the function of the beta cell pancreatic beta cell so that is the basic idea of this group of the monogenic diabetes mellitus and the most common form of monogenic diabetes mellitus is modi maturity onset diabetes of the young you might be think it is quite rare well it is comprises 1 to 2% of the diabetes mellitus and if we see the total number of diabetes mellitus currently in the world the number is quite staggering because currently we have around 450 million people who have diabetes mellitus 1 to 2% would be 9 million so 9 million is not a uh, scats number you understand this is a, this is a huge number in that sense so this group also the problem with this group is that that this group is frequently misdiagnosed as type 1 or type 2 diabetes mellitus and not treated properly that is the significance of knowing about this maturity onset diabetes of the young so till now what i told you that maturity onset diabetes of the young modi is basically now it's the preferred term is called monogenic diabetes that this is a unique form of diabetes mellitus which occurs due to mutation of a single form of a single gene involving the function of the pancreatic beta cell and that's why it is called monogenic single gene induced mutation induced diabetes mellitus and there is a characteristic three characteristic features of this modis are there one that there should be the presentation should be less than 25 years number two that there should be no presence of auto antibodies and third they are inherited in an autosomal dominant fashion so this their development is quite straightforward you are getting a gene uh, autosomal dominant fashion inherited fashion from your parents and that is basically impacting or causing the development of this when should you suspect this if you suspect this that there is a strong family history uh, of, of multiple members in the family they are having this diabetes mellitus early before the age of 25 years and this the features are not fitting with the type 1 or the type 2 diabetes mellitus that is the time actually you need to think about this emoti i told you that this comprises 1 to 2% now another basic thing that you need to keep in mind that that modi there are six subtypes common subtypes are there previously they were called modi 1 2 3 4 5 6 now it is we don't call in that way we call according to the gene which is involved the mutated because as i mentioned all of them they are occurring due to a particular mutated gene occurring the mutated gene could be hepatocyte nuclear factor 4 alpha hepatos glucokinase hepatocyte nuclear factor 1 alpha hepatocyte nuclear factor 1 beta so this kind of multiple genes can be involved not multiple single genes could be involved in the respective type of the this this thing overall currently what we see that the two common forms most two common most common genes which are involved are hepatocyte nuclear factor 4 alpha which is basically previously called modi 3 another one is glucokinase that is the uh, modi type 2 so all in all what is modi or maturity onset diabetes in of the young this is a unique form of diabetes mellitus which is a called monogenic diabetes mellitus because they don't occur due to involvement of the multiple genes they are not polygenic or there's no role of the environmental factors in this way this occurs due to a straightforward mutation of a single gene that's why monogenic it is called diabetes mellitus this is the most common form of monogenic diabetes mellitus this monogenic diabetes mellitus comprises 1 to 2% of the diabetes mellitus 
they are overall <coughs> they are they are characterized by triad actually the presentation the presentation should be a less than 25 years there should be no auto antibodies and the third thing is that that this should be inherited in an autosomal dominant inherited fashion that commonly this there are six subtypes due to individual six mutated genes are there that's why they're called modi one two three four six five six nowadays we don't prefer that term we usually prefer the term that particular gene like let's say modi three nowadays is called hepatocyte nuclear factor one alpha associated mutation associated modi <coughs> or monogenic diabetes mellitus type 2 is called glucokinase mutation associated monogenic diabetes mellitus this is the way currently they are named i think these are the uh, key points that you need to keep in mind i will discuss some other aspects in the future sessions thank you so much